Good morning, YouTube. Wide Oak 26 here. Um, I was going to start a series to try to address some of the questions that I've been asked regarding my camper build. And I thought first I'd start off by the trailer that I chose and why I chose this trailer. So if you're looking at building a cargo trailer, these are some questions that you might ask yourself. Uh, there again, I'm not an expert and all of my opinions are subjective and I understand that. So uh, just food for thought basically so don't don't take it as I'm telling you what to do and how to do it that's not that's not what this is about uh, so first off I chose the 7 by 16 um, size didn't really matter I wanted I wanted to compact a, uh, a basically a full camper in a small package but I wanted better products and wanted this thing to last as long as possible so something that's not going to fall apart on me you know 10 years down the road um, it's very heavy duty and that's what I wanted there's no glue uh, on the walls that are going to start to laminate it over time um, but anyway that was my objective whenever I started this build so first thing when selecting the trailer I went down and talked to the individual about purchasing the trailer and come to find out that if you special order a trailer you're going to, you're more than likely going to pay full MSRP for it. Uh, so I wanted to find one that they had already had stocked on their lot maybe that they've come down on the price a little bit in order to try to move it. Um, there again talked to the guy he said yeah if you if you special order one with the windows and the insulation and all that kind of stuff on it uh, you're more than likely going to be paying full MSRP. So I waited for the right trailer at the right moment. Some things that I don't regret. Uh, first off is this, that door. All right, so this is a, a standard RV door. I wouldn't say standard, it's, it's pretty tough. But it's already got the handle built into it. Now you can make the ones with the latches work. Actually my stepdad um, has his trailer built like that and it looks great, works great. But it does take some work in order to get that done. Also, this door is already insulated. So whenever I bought the trailer, that door was the only thing in the trailer that was already insulated. So I didn't have to tear it apart in order to insulate it. Uh, I wanted to get a different color uh, just because I thought it looked better. Uh, there was some gray, there was some gray, red, black, all different colors on the lot. And then to be honest with you, I'm, white, was, white was my last choice. Now, whenever I got to the lot and actually did some hands-on one thing that I discovered is, is it was a pretty hot day uh, one thing I discovered is is I started going around looking at them and you could walk up to the side of the black or the or the uh, the colored cargo trailers and tell an extreme difference in temperature uh, you can't you couldn't even hold your hand on the black one I mean it was incredibly um, incredibly hotter uh, to the touch so that drove me to the white white was about the only one on the lot I could walk up and stick my hand on and just leave my hand on the side of the trailer and not get burnt uh, so there is a big difference there something to think about all right and I know um, maybe if I lived if I lived in a different area I might have chosen a different color but I'm glad I went on a hot day because I was able to actually place my hands on the trailer and and be able to instantly tell the difference between um, you know how how it absorbs temperature and man there's a big difference all right so the other thing is there are different grades of trailers with the interstate anyway um, you know there there's a, a real basic you know they've got four or five different different grades so I went ahead and chose the load runner series and that was because of the thickness of the skin on the exterior of the wall so it's a real thick aluminum gauge and uh, so I thought that to be pretty important you know the obviously aluminum doesn't have memory so if you got if you have any kind of dent or scratch or whatever it's going to be there uh, until you actually manually pull that dent or scratch out or um, to you replace the panel so I wanted uh, to get the heavier gauge aluminum skin on the outside oh let's see the other thing 
and this is just personal preference but I chose to go with the curved rooftop rather than the flat rooftop and the reason being is I wanted to to try to ensure that it shed water and didn't hold water on top of the roof um, just for just for better water shedding that's pretty obvious as well I know but one thing you'll find if you don't buy the flat top is that curved edge while it has the ability to shed water better whenever you go to build it's going to be I don't know how many times it's, it's, it's going to be incredibly more difficult um, to frame anything on the inside because you have the curves to work with now so I think that was one of the reasons why it took me so long uh, to get any of the interior done is because of the curves that I had to go around and you can kind of see that in here so where the where the wall meets the ceiling it's pretty challenging in order to get that luon up there and cut just right so lots and lots of work involved with a round top cargo trailer and you can tell that my carpentry skills aren't perfect okay all right another thing that you have to look at is insulation uh, so in the walls I have a beadboard insulation okay and the the studs that go up and down the walls weren't fully boxed in at first I thought that would be a negative thing um, they're actually kind of like a C uh, C channel uh, and then they they bevel out on each side now the what I found out to be the positive is is I could get insulation on the back side of the C channel and then on the interior of the C channel so there wasn't a void in there uh, for thermal transfer so I was able to insulate better with that C channel and the C channel is very very tough um, I don't won't have any issues at all using that C channel and there again they are on 16 inch centers through the wall the ceiling in the ceiling I have one and a half inch beadboard uh, styrofoam insulation and that goes throughout the whole ceiling and one and a half would allow you to mount your luon or your your top flush on the uh, the ribs without any issue now here's the challenge in my design uh, I didn't I wanted to leave the electrical to where I could have easy access so you'll notice that you know this, this panel here you know there's a little gap up top and that kind of thing but there, I did that on purpose behind this section here which is where the curve is on the roof behind that section is where I ran all the electrical now I tried initially to use the beadboard uh, insulation to insulate that 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 curve area and that turned out to be a pain so I was able to insulate with beadboard on the the inside or up against the wall but then I installed my wiring and then on top of that I've got fiberglass insulation that filled in the remainder of that gap so that gave me uh, adequate insulation there on that rounded area up here this is probably um, this is extremely heavy insulation I had a void up here after I'd, <clears throat> I blocked this in because of that fiberglass cap that comes around the front I blocked that in and it's basically filled with insulation so there's at least R14 right there in that corner and everything else is going to be an R7 or higher I uh, did have a question let me turn on some lights had a question regarding these walls uh, the interior walls are a standard house style uh, two by four inch stud with a luon um, front and back both sides uh, the reason why i done that is initially that door frame there was a standard house size door there well whenever it opened it opened to the interior and it got in my way every time i wanted to cook so what i done was i just took the door off the hinge and install the accordion door and you can see uh, some of the, my carpentry imperfections right there is where the uh, the hinge for the the door that was there 
uh, used to be but anyway I got that installed and I think that looks pretty good uh, it doesn't bother me at all and then also you can see right down there is the keyhole it's ugly I got to get it fixed so I could probably just wood putty that in and uh, get it leveled out and get that fixed pretty easy so anyway this is a standard 2x4 studded wall all right <clears throat> other things to see here my cabinetry all right so the the cabinetry itself I built I built this section you know the actual cabinets itself um, what I done was I ripped down and this is where the microwave goes so I've got it taken off now because I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, frame the microwave in to make it look good uh, you can see that basically I ripped two by fours in half and that's to save on weight and built the structure uh, with those rib two by fours and it is not perfect if you look you can see definitely see my imperfections on that however when I was done I mean I could do pull-ups on this uh, on this cabinetry um, we got a solid solid bottom this is some of this uh, anti-skid stuff a solid bottom underneath that and then I boxed it in and ran and hid some cables uh, for for my lighting here and then also for my 110 outlet there and then also I used that box to hide the cables to run my thermostat. I'm trying not to make you sick. Alright so and that's how I did all of my cabinetries there, I did not use any nails whatsoever except for finishing nails. Um, all everything in the trailer are screws. Uh, the screws with the uh, what they call a Torx head, lifetime warranty. So if I ever need to get it off, you know, as far as take the cabinetry apart, that is possible. However, um, on the Luan. Uh, that I used to build the cabinets. I did use finishing nails and and glue. So it's there. I mean, it's hardcore there. So there again, you can you can put all of your weight on it, but that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it strong and uh, to last long. I did order the cabinet doors uh, from a local company. So once I built the cabinets and made sure all that my cutouts and everything were totally square, I measured all of my cabinet uh, cabinet door openings, sent in those measurements, and they sent me a uh, a cabinet door for the hole that I'd already built. Uh, I had some questions regarding storage as far as closed storage. Uh, there is pretty good space in there. I don't know if you could. I don't know if this uh, this camera does it justice or not, but I can put enough clothes for an entire week in there no problem I actually use one drawer my wife uses the other drawer and then we have two small drawers here um, that my daughter uses so I'm able to put all of her clothes in there uh, so pants shorts socks underwear that kind of thing they all fit in those drawers no problem I actually have a little bit of room to spare so we wind up putting books and that kind of thing whatever we want to have um, extra also there again the shoe closet have the shoe closet uh, so plenty of room in there for shoes and for storage no issues so far with space as far as all of our other living um, living space or living the stuff that we use to basically for for living I uh, got plenty of room as far as there's the so where we keep all the cookware and everything and and of course the dishes um and i'm out of paper plates gotta get some more paper plates and there's the just more storage what about bathroom supplies so bathroom supplies go in these drawers down here let's see Plenty of space. It's not very well organized. So there is plenty of space in there. Alright. Uh, 
What else? Oh yeah, here's here's where our towels go. One thing that I have added since I made the first video is I'm beginning to be a fan of these wire baskets. They're lightweight, they're easy to install, and they provide quite a bit of storage, you know, just here and there. So I installed one here. Uh was able to put all of our cleaning supplies and and uh stuff in that. I do have a lot more ideas and you might say why is that open right there well <clears throat> I'm hoping to install some kind of guitar holder some a place that I can hang my guitar oh <clears throat> here's the couch all right so I didn't know if you guys had seen that I know I had some requests for it so this is what the couch looks like and when you're sitting in the couch got your TV everything's good we use these TV TV trays here to you know eat on um, now if we're camping and it's not raining we're gonna be eating outside so the couch is only kind of an in case of emergencies type thing but plenty of room on the couch there again uh, this section here just slid to the in inside and then the uh, the mattress itself becomes the couch, kind of like a futon, futon style. Anyway, rambling on, I'll see what I can add. I'll probably be doing a video pretty soon on just just go through in sections. So um, maybe the next video might be I don't know electrical. I'll try to do one on plumbing, so on and so forth. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Um, if you like the video, hit the hit the like button. Please subscribe. I'm going to try to keep them coming. And uh, just let me know what you think. Alright. Appreciate it. Later.